But we've got a whole lot of uh, other trading recommendations lined up. Let's get in. Shrikant Chauhan, as well as Samit Chavan, who now join in on the show. Uh, Shrikant, I'm going to start off with you. It's quiet for the markets right now, but there's some individual stocks that you've spotted. What's on the radar? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, see, technically, we feel that the markets have like reached to their extreme levels. And uh, from here, I think the market is going to consolidate or going to take some time. Uh, maybe in between that time, we are going to see activity out of those stocks which are not part of index. And accordingly, like we have chosen those stocks to uh, take some long position. Uh, the very first uh, buy is on Arvin Mill, which is currently trading at 277-278 levels. There we have a target of 300, and uh, we are keeping a target. We are keeping a stop loss at 270. Uh, the stock has formed rectangle consolidation formation, and the stock is trading above that particular formation. So, uh, technically, it has to uh, uh, it, ha it has next resistance only around 300 levels. The other stock which we like is United Breweries Limited. Uh, it is at uh, 840, 835 levels. There also we have a target of 890 because the stock is into uh, rounding bottom formation. It has formed bullish reversal formation in today's date. So the next target is 890 and here we can keep a stop loss at 820. The last one is Jet Airways and uh, maybe even after the uh, news of uh, aviation oil price hike, the stock is maintaining and sustaining well above the mark of 555. So the next target or the next level to watch out for is 590, 595. But the risk reward ratio is favorable because the stop loss is very close by at 537. So with a stop loss at 537, we can take long position in Jet Airways and we can keep a target of close to 600. Okay, that's the word coming in from Shrikant recommending three buy recommendations. Let's move right on and get you more stock ideas. We've got Samit Javan also with us on the show. Samit, we just talked about three buy recommendations. You only have one on your list. Yes, uh, good morning. Uh, yes, we have only buy recommendation. We are uh, sensing that the Nifty is trading around its uh, resistance zone, which is around 7750, 7780. Uh, however, uh, we are expecting a consolidation. We are not expecting any major fall as such. But within this consolidation, individual stocks, uh, which have already uh, outperformed, they might... Uh, uh, have a, some some kind of profit booking at uh, their resistance levels. Uh, if we talk about the uh, long idea, we have a buy on Bata India. Uh, charge structure certainly looks good after forming a strong base around 480, 490. The stock now is poised for a very good up move in the near term. Uh, it is just consolidating around its uh, support level of 500, 505 since the last four days. Uh, but looking at the overall daily as well as weekly chart structure, we expect an immediate up move that would be towards 554. Uh, it can be bought uh, by keeping a strict stop loss at uh, five, uh, 494. Our uh, two recommendation would be on uh, on the short side would be on Kane India and Yes Bank. Uh, yes Bank certainly has outperformed in the recent path from the overall uh, private banking space. However, if we closely observe daily chart, yesterday's uh, daily candle can now be termed as a Spinning top, uh, uh, spinning top uh, pattern around its zone of uh, 860, 865, which is the 161% retracement level. Uh, thus, we expect an immediate uh, corrective move towards 814 in S-Bank. It can be shorted. Stop loss would be at 886. Our third call would be to short Kane India. Uh, this stock is trading around its uh, zone of 160, 158 since last few days. Uh, last week, this stock formed a hangman pattern around its resistance zone and is now po poised for a uh, good down move that would be towards 146, 147. It can be shorted uh, by keeping the stop loss at 157. And as I said, our target would be around 147, 146. So it's one buy and two sell calls coming in from Sumit. But let's move on and take a look at the smaller uh, cap market, small cap market as well, which is gaining for the third straight day and not quite moving in tandem with how we are seeing the benchmarks moving while the benchmarks are trending lower. It's the broader markets that are still posting some good gains. Nifty continues the decline post the muted opening where the advanced decline ratio is at 2 is to 3. The volatility index is also seeing gains after two straight day of declines. And in terms of some sectors, it's clearly the realty space, the PSU banking space and FMCG 
being the only sectoral gainers. However, it's the Nifty Auto Pack, which is the biggest legard on Nifty, um, you know, and uh, clearly that is led by Mother Sansumi as well as Bosch. Um, BHEL, Bank of Baroda, LNT continue to remain the top gainers on Nifty and the mid-cap index as well as the small-cap index, both these indices are gaining for the third straight day. Take a look at some of the stocks that are brewing in the small-cap end of the market and it's clearly JP Infratech, one of the top gainers in providing a helping hand to the entire pack, gaining a good 7.5%. JP Power also holding out in the positive zone, 7.5% of an uptick coming in there. Unitech, OMDC, as well as our local industries, all these stocks are posting some good gains. However, on the downside, what looks weak is clearly uh, FDC, up first, down in trade by about a percent and a half. Seat is the other one, which is trending lower and losing about half, one and a half percent. Moil, Marks and Pharma, BASF India, as well as BEML. All these stocks are a bit sluggish in today's session. Oh, yes, indeed. And we briefly also tested that level of 7,700 on the downside. So,